What's up guys, Corbin Long here, bringing you guys another reaction video. Today we'll be reacting to the Pokemon Presents August 18th, 2021. It starts soon, I'm excited for some BDSP news as well as Legends Arceus, and I've heard there's going to be more. I'll see you guys when it starts. Okay. Hello everyone. I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. Today, I'm happy to share with you our latest updates on a number of games. First, we'd like to share some news about Pokemon's first strategic team battle game, Pokemon Unite. I'm listening. The Nintendo Switch version of the game has already been released, and the release of the mobile version has now been set for September 22nd. Okay, that's not bad. In anticipation of the mobile version launch, pre-registration has begun today on the App Store and Google Play Store. Nintendo Switch and mobile device users can play together in Pokemon Unite. We hope as many people as possible will be able to enjoy playing it together. Players will also receive special gifts in their game based on the number of people who pre-registered for the mobile version, thanks to a special campaign happening now. Okay. We hope you'll all pre-register and look forward to the mobile release. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Players who are quick to jump in with the Nintendo Switch version that has already been released can also receive Zara Aura's Unite license as a launch bonus. The Unite license can also be used in the mobile version by linking accounts. Nice. And finally, I'd like to give you all a preview of some of the Pokemon that are slated to join in future updates. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool! Okay, that makes sense. Sylveon's a pretty popular Pokemon. Look forward to more from Pokemon Unite in the future. Now, I'd like to share some news about a few of our other games. Okay. Kinda out of left field. Famix is getting a revamp, and with it, a new title, Pokemon Cafe Remix. The puzzles have been refreshed with the addition of new elements with which you can mix, link, and blast puzzle icons. Looks pretty much the same to me, but... Pokemon new to Pokemon Cafe Remix and new dress up options. You'll also find more ways of growing and developing your staff Pokemon. Okay. This renewed puzzle game is sure to be something that can be enjoyed for years to come. Okay. Pokemon Cafe Remix will open its doors this fall. I may give it another try. EX celebrates its two-year anniversary. Mm-hmm. Dynamaxing is here. Cygnusu Leon has I actually got him the other day. With Eternatus. Team up with brothers Leon and Hob to face Eternatus in the legendary event currently underway. To celebrate the two-year anniversary of Pokemon Masters EX, Players will get the chance to scout up to 100 sync pairs at no cost. Plus, three different legendary events are returning at once, meaning players can team up with three legendary Pokemon. Got those. N will be returning in a special outfit as part of a master sync pair. N and his Pokemon are able to target nice. opponents with their attacks. Look forward to seeing N as well as other I like N in this game. He's pretty good. Soon. Starting in September, a new story arc unfolds. Villainous organizations are stirring once more as the story takes a darker turn. You won't want to miss it. 
Okay. We have plenty of other events and exciting content planned as well. So come join us and celebrate I can dig that. this special anniversary. Also, if you log into the game after this presentation, you can receive a present of 3,000 gems as our newest campaign begins. You won't want to miss it. All right. This is probably already reconfirming what we already know. We'll have Pokemon that were first discovered in the Galar region appearing in the wild. Yeah. The Ultra Unlock Part 3 Sword and Shield event will begin on August 20th, 2021. At Just skipping Alola, but okay. Players can look forward to seeing Wulu, Squavit, and Phalanx during the event. The legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zamazenta will also be appearing in 5-star raids. It seems that the sudden appearance of Pokemon originally discovered in the Galar region has something to do with the mischievous tricks of a certain mythical Pokemon. Be sure to take part in these events and discover the truth behind these curious appearances. Your adventures in the real world will only continue to grow in Pokemon Go. Next up. We have some news about the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl games. Good. Give it to me. <laughs> okay. Rowan, he looks good. I don't recognize this song. Pokemon following you, okay. I love it. There's a gym? Oh, that's a good feature they're bringing back. That's cool. Okay, new style options. I don't love contest, but this at least looks different. Yes. I loved the underground. What is happening here? Dude, this the songs are they're going hard. Cynthia I'm still hoping they show Megas, but they may not. I 
man. The release of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl is now just three months away. Let's review the main points of these revitalized games. After 15 years, Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl have been reborn into Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. This adventure takes place in the Sinnoh region, a land rich in nature with towering Mount Coronet at its heart. As the protagonist, you'll adventure across the region, catching wild Pokemon and making new friends as you strive to complete your Pokedex. Along with your partner Pokemon, you'll overcome the gym leaders of each area and aim to become the champion. You'll also encounter traces of the Sinnoh region's myths, passed down through the generations, and unravel the truth behind their mysteries. This is Professor Rowan, who entrusts you with a Pokemon. He's a famous professor researching Pokemon evolution. This is your childhood friend and rival. He hones his skills as a Pokemon trainer through your friendly rivalry. Rourke is one of the gym leaders you'll take on during your journey. He uses Rock-type Pokemon. Everywhere you look, Team Galactic is up to something. There appears to be some sort of lofty goal behind all their audacious activity. Cynthia is investigating myths about Pokemon. She's a mysterious person who shows up at many points along your journey. Gameplay features from Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl have been revamped and powered up for these new games. In the Grand Underground, you can participate in a number of activities, such as digging up fossils or creating your own secret I didn't recognize that thing in the statues. bottom left when he was mining. There are also places down there called Pokemon Hideaways, which didn't exist in Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl. Apparently, the Pokemon that appear in the Pokemon Hideaways will change depending on which statues you have placed in your secret base. It seems that some of the Pokemon living in the Sinnoh region can only be found in this place. So be sure to fully explore the Grand Underground spread out beneath the surface of Sinnoh. You can use the stickers you'll collect on your adventure to customize the effects that appear when Pokemon spring out of Pokeballs, such as confetti or fireworks. By collecting stickers at various locations along your journey and decorating with them, you can make your Pokemon battles even more fun. One new feature that was not available in Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl is the ability to change your outfit. Wear your favorite styles on your adventure. In Super Contest shows, your Pokemon can dance to the rhythm of the music, proudly show off a contest move, and aim for a successful show. Cooperate with your partner Pokemon to really work up the crowd. In the Union Room, this release allows you to use not only local communication, but also online communication to interact with trainers all over the world in real time. Please enjoy battles and Pokemon trades with many other trainers. You can walk around with any of the Pokemon that appear in these games. Enjoy your journey through Sinnoh together with your partner Pokemon. Encounters with all kinds of people and Pokemon and the mystery behind Sinnoh's myths await you. We hope you look forward to starting an exciting adventure with new gameplay features in the Sinnoh region. Please wait just a bit longer for the start of your adventure. But that's not all. A special Nintendo Switch Lite Dialga and Palkia edition will also be released to celebrate the launch of these games. This special Nintendo Switch Lite... Oh, that's like the DS I have. Legendary Pokemon Dialga 
Dialga and Palkia, bringing to mind the special Nintendo DS Lite Onyx, Dialga and Palkia edition that was released back in 2006 to align with the original game's launch. Oh, I have that, still. That's really cool. Look forward to it. Next, we have some information for you about the Pokemon Legends Arceus game, which is being developed by Game Freak. Alright, I'm ready for this as well. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, man. Rowla is my boy. A new Stantler? Okay. Okay. A new Growlithe form. That's... Okay, this is getting really interesting. A Braviary? I can't even tell what that is. Definitely looks like new evolutions. You can get hurt, okay. Is that a master ball? No, it's a great ball. Looks like an evolved form of Basculin. January 28. That's not all that far away. The latest trailer for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let's take a closer look at some of the elements introduced in the video.
Pokemon Legends Arceus is a brand new title that opens new doors for the Pokemon series by fusing action with RPG elements. Your adventure takes place in a region known as Hisui, during a long ago era when it was rare for people to live in harmony alongside Pokemon. Mount Coronet towers over the center of the land, with sprawling, diverse, natural environments surrounding the mountain on all sides. These different areas are home to a rich variety of Pokemon ecosystems. In the future, this land of Hisui will come to be known as the Sinnoh region. You'll set out on an adventure with the goal of completing the first ever Pokedex for the Hisui region. The bustling Jubilee Village there it is. is the base for your adventures. It's the Galaxy Expedition Team expedition turns into Team Galactic. People from various other regions. With divisions such as the Medical Corps, the Security Corps, and the Survey Corps, which researches Pokemon. Professor Laventon's field of study is the ecology of Pokemon. He came to the Hisui region along with Pokemon he met in various other regions. He entrusts one of these Pokemon to you. Captain Silene is the leader of the Survey Corps. Though she may seem to treat you harshly, deep down she's your biggest supporter and she watches over your progress with care. Commander Komodo oversees the entire Galaxy team. He's a dependable leader who has earned the unwavering trust of his team members. When the commander recognizes your knack for Pokemon research, he allows you to join the team and has- There's definitely a relation between Silene and Cyrus and then Komodo and- The duty of the Survey Corps is to observe and catch Pokemon to shed light on how they live. Your survey duties hold the key to unlocking the true purpose of your adventure, and in the course of your work, you'll visit various locations within the Hisui region. Your excursions outside the village will begin by preparing at a base camp. At these camps, you'll be able to prepare for your survey work by buying items or crafting new ones from basic materials. In the Hisui region, you'll find that you'll be vulnerable to attacks from wild Pokemon. Take too much damage from their attacks, and you'll black out. So use caution when you're out doing your survey work. When your Pokemon are hurt, you can return to a base camp to rest up and recover. Once you've completed a survey assignment, return to the village and report the results to whoever requested the job. Pokemon live all over the place. Get close to them and aim carefully, then throw a Pokeball to try to catch them. You'll find that not all species of Pokemon react the same way when they spot you. For example, some Pokemon will immediately flee, so you'll want to hide in tall grass when you approach them. Aggressive Pokemon, on the other hand, may need to be weakened in battle. There are a variety of tricks to catching them all. Throw a Pokeball containing one of your own Pokemon near a wild Pokemon and a battle will begin. You'll find that a single Pokemon may get to act multiple times in a row, depending on its speed stat and the moves that it uses. You can also choose to have Pokemon use their moves in two different styles, Strong Style and Agile Style. Using a move in the Strong Style will increase the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be lowered. Using a move in the Agile style will decrease the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be raised. You'll find the Strong style will come in handy when you see a chance to end a battle with one powerful move, while the Agile style is great for situations where acting multiple times in a row will give your battle strategy a real boost. Use these different styles as the situation demands to gain the upper hand in battle. When you report the results cool. of your survey work to the professor, information will be added to the Pokedex. You can advance your research and fill in more information by doing things like catching Pokemon, seeing them use certain moves multiple times, and more. Seek out and meet lots of different Pokemon to complete that Pokedex. Now, we'd like to introduce some of the Pokemon living in the rich, natural environments that are spread out across the Hisui region. This Pokemon with distinctive antlers is known as Weirdeer. Weirdeer evolves from a Stantler that has managed to live in the harsh, natural environment of the Hisui region. 
It has strong ties with the local people, and it has been treated with great care and respect in this land since ancient times. Garments made with the fur shed from its beard, tail, and legs are highly prized as warm winter clothing. This Pokemon is Basculegion. It can swim with great power. Basculin that live in the Hisui region can evolve into this Pokemon if they become possessed by the restless souls of other Basculin in their school that have perished during their journey upstream. This Pokemon gains <laughs> power from the souls possessing it, letting okay. it go on and on without tiring. There are also so, like water ghosts found living in this land in forms that have adapted to the environment of the Hisui region. This Pokemon with its great majestic wings is the Hisuian form of Braviary. It comes to Hisui in the winter and can imbue its screeches with psychic power to generate shockwaves. This Pokemon, which works with a partner, is the Hisuian form of Growlithe. It is a very wary Pokemon and appears to protect its territory. Hisuian Growlithe's soft fur is an excellent insulator, allowing it to stay active and lively even in this chilly land. The horn on its head is made of rock, but it breaks easily, so Hisuian Growlithe uses it only when it'll have the greatest effect. Hmm. The Pokemon Arceus holds the key to this story, but what connection does it have to your adventure? We hope you look forward to finding out on the day when you can finally meet the people and Pokemon of the Hisui region for yourself. Those were our latest updates on these new entries in the Pokemon series. Pre-orders for Pokemon Legends Arceus, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, and Pokemon Shining Pearl will become available on Nintendo eShop after this broadcast. We'd also like to announce that support for these titles is planned to come to Pokemon Home, the cloud service for Nintendo Switch and compatible mobile devices in 2022. Nice. Keep an eye on our upcoming announcements for further details. As for the ranked battles that so many of you continue to enjoy, these will take place as before in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. We hope you all have fun participating in even more competitive play in the future. Okay. Those are all the latest updates we can share with you today. We hope you're looking forward to all the exciting Pokemon adventures to come. Thank you all for tuning in and watching. All right. That was a pretty good little presents they had there. Uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl looks to be about what I expected, but Legends Arceus is looking better and better every time they show it. So... That's going to be it for me. Thank you guys for hanging out, and I will see you guys next time.